Good morning and welcome back. Um, today is Friday. The time is almost half past nine. Um, and we are going out to spearfish. So when I came to the village, I asked my cousins to take me out to spearfish. But they said they only do it at night. And I'm pretty new to the sport. So I wasn't keen on, on just going in the night time. So they said I should find a guy named Sichiben. Mm -hmm. So I tracked his ass down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't that hard because he lived next to the village. Because he, they said he should be the best guy to take you during the day. Here's Sichi. <laughs> this is the best guy during the day when you want to spearfish. So, high hopes. Why, what the tolo? Bobby. Oh, and I didn't show you when we came uh, last week. This is the village Nabut. See here, the water is crystal clear. And what I'm about to show you now, it's uh, where the reef ends. As you can see, all of the waves um, right here. As they say in Moana, don't go beyond the uh, reef because over on that side you don't have the same protection as you have on this side so um, yeah make sure you stay inside the reef look at the reef amazing absolutely amazing in the far distance you can see the mainland and uh, there's a little island further up, which is called Bangalai, and this is Moturiki. Um, and this is Mwaneleo. Pambulo my leo. I remember one time when I uh, came to Fiji with uh, one of my Danish friends, uh, Marcus. Um, we went to an island and then we wanted to get back but when we made it back on this spot all the water was gone it was low tide 
So we had to drag the boat all the way across the street, all the way over to almost that island before we could uh, start the engine again in the middle of the night. Crazy. But also one of the best experiences in my life because even though it was kind of tragic, it was still fun, you know, to remember back to that day. The struggle was real. Shout out Marquisi, as uh, he was called in Fijian. Uh, we still talk about it to this day, me and my cousins and him. Remember, don't litter. You'll destroy the reefs. So this is one of the uh, this is one of the spots that uh, is gonna show us today that should be really good, uh, especially when you dive in the morning. Morning. Um, so let's see. Before the sunset goes up, eh? As my cousin, <laughs> as my cousin say.
Pedro ele leu de lá. Pedro? Sí, sí, no se lo quita. Ay, tira. People, we made it back to the village after spear fishing, and uh, personally, I didn't catch, I didn't catch any fish. But these guys, they caught how many? You look at me. Three. Six. Six. They caught six fish. Look at this. I'm just gonna show you. One there, two there, three. Four, three. Okay, only four fish. <laughs> only five. Eight. Hey. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm pretty new to the sport. I took up the, the sport last year, and uh, this is maybe my fourth dive. Um, and you will see my failed attempt to catch a fish but these guys yo I've never seen some something like that like they can really dive uh, gotta give props to them but um I'll try soon <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I'm, I'm a rookie and uh, this is a big challenge for me but I won't give up I'll go again next week try me next week <laughs> so, so we made it back to the village after the spear fishing trip and um, I must say that um, it's harder than I thought to spear fish um, but uh, you know I'm a rookie and uh, I'm gonna try again and won't give up until then see you